So Spellbound is a new TCG exclusive from Darkwing Blast and happens to be a quickly spell card with an effect relatively similar to D-Barrier. The card reads, All face-up monsters your opponent currently controls we cannot be tributed or used as material for fusion, synchro exceeds, or link summon until the end of this turn. I have a bunch of things to say about this card, both positive and negative. First of all, it's a quickly spell card and everybody knows how much I love those cards. They're really flexible. They can both be used on your own turn offensively and then on your opponent's turn defensively. And it's also not once per turn, so drawing multiple copies of this card is actually not too bad. And again, the right kind of strategy, this card could actually seal the deal. So my issue with this card is that it kind of does what already existing cards do, but worse. First of all, this card only affects monsters your opponent currently controls, so in case your opponent has like zero monsters on the field and it goes like Duster, Lightning Storm, whatever, and you flip this card, it literally achieves nothing, whereas something like Deep Barrier would actually linger completely. And a lot of people made this point already, but this card is actually pretty bad against Tier Lamans because they can still fuse from the graveyard and from the hand, so only affecting monsters currently on the field is actually pretty underwhelming. So in other words, this card basically achieves nothing against the best deck in the game. And it also feels like a worse zombie world against Flunderies because because yeah, sure, they can't tribute summon, so it still kind of does something. <sighs> Zombie World is just better, man. I guess a decent application for this card would be going second in case your opponent has something like IP Mascarina. You can chain this card to the IP Mascarina so all the other monsters cannot be used for the Link Summon as well as Mascarina itself. And that way you kind of dodge it, but at the same time, Dark Ruler would break the whole board in a way. I really don't understand why anyone would actually main deck a card like this in this current format because there are already way better cards exactly just like I keep saying. If you're trying to go first and stop your opponent from playing, you can have deep barrier, different dimension ground, artifact sanctum, and the list goes on. Or if you're going second, you can have, I don't know, dark ruler, forbidden droplet, and they're always better going second at kind of stopping the IP mascarina anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this new card in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.